rechargeable electric lighter, or battery pack waiting to be hacked. Welcome to Hack a Week. So the other day I'm checking out a Walmart, getting some stuff there, and uh, I found these. They're at the front counter, they're like six bucks. And it's a USB rechargeable electronic lighter. It's got a little element in there that glows. And of course the first thing I'm thinking is, hey, there's a really cool battery pack in there that could be recharged on a USB port and used for electronic projects like a little micro robot that I'm about to build pretty soon. So I say we get this thing out of the package and see if we can tear it apart and see what makes it tick and figure out how many amps this thing can handle. Okay, let's check this thing out. Um, it's got a little sticker on the back that has the usual, you know, keep out of reach of young'uns and stuff like that. Um, don't try this at home. <laughs> so uh, let's get all that sticker crap off from there and uh, we'll take a look at what's going on here. I think it's got a little uh, LED on the back maybe. Now the LED probably tells you when it's charged. Of course I could RTFM and um, that would tell me everything I need to know. Uh, but there is no manual. There's just this little thing here and um, it's, yep, doesn't say too much about it. But I'll bet if I go to ignitelighters.com it'll tell me all about how to use it. But here we go, um, if you pull the thing back, as uh, you can see there, there's a little element that starts to glow, and that's where you put your cigarette, or whatever, and um, light it up. So that little element is powered by a battery inside there. That battery gets charged up by plugging it into a USB port, and wow. Uh, that's pretty cool. So let's see if we can tear this apart. There's two screws right here, two Phillips screws. Uh, I don't see anything else anywhere. So let's just uh, pull those out and see what we get for starters. Let's see if we can find the right size Phillips here and get those screws out. Okay, screws are out. Now what? Let's see. Do we just pry it apart? Yeah, it looks like that's all there is to it. The lid just lifts off like that. There it is. There's a little LiPo battery, a little itty bitty one. Uh, I have a few of those from some other things I've taken apart. But uh, let's lift that out. And there's a little PCB in there. A circuit board does reside in there. I'm not quite sure how that pops out quite yet. Um, could probably figure it out easy enough with a little poking around here. It looks like maybe this wants to uh, lift away the outer silver part wants to pull away from the black part here somehow. Um, hmm. Well anyway, um, what we're after is how many volts is that battery? So let's get a voltmeter on there and see. Okay, let's see, we're on DC voltage. Uh, my guess is it's uh, a five volt. Oh, no, wait, right here, it says 3.7 volt. Okay, so it's a 3.7 volt battery and right now it's charged up to 3.8 volts. So it comes fully charged. So, okay, um, that's uh, a little bit low for some applications. Um, two of these would be nice, we would have um, you know, seven volts roughly to work with. So maybe I'll buy another one and uh, we can use the two of them and you know, you could charge each one off the USB stick. But pretty neat little device. Uh, I'd like to be able to tear it apart a little further here because I'm, I'm real curious how many how many amps is going on there on that little lighter section. Um, it'd just be kind of neat to know just what this thing can uh, handle. Let's see if we can Ah, okay, it just lifts off. I just had to lift up on it. That's all there is to it. Real simple um, switch mechanism here. All it does is make contact with a little copper strip in there. Not much to that. And there's our little heating element. 
Now I could just, uh, I guess I could just unsolder that heating element. That would be uh, a pretty easy way to do it. Looks like it's just held on with a couple of uh, solder joints right there. And then I could put a load across there and uh, see what happens. Or you know what else I could do is I could just snip the uh, the heating element and just use those two right there because you know I don't think I'm going to use it as a lighter again. So well let's let's do that. Let's see where are my side cutters. Let's just go ahead and this is it. We're going to disable it. Uh oh! I just voided the warranty. There goes the heating element. See you later. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Let's do a little uh let's do a little amp test here. Okay, we're connected. We've got an amp meter in line. I've got a little electric motor here that will run when I push on the little switch. So let's see how many amps it pulls just running the motor. It's pulling 0.3. And if I load the motor up, it should make the amps go up. Wow! 2.6 amps with with a stalled motor. <laughs> That's pretty intense. That's a pretty good little battery. 2.6 amps is uh, a pretty fair amount. Wow. Well, cool. And the neat thing about this is the charge control circuit. Everything is right there in this neat little package. So all you got to do is just get in there and hack into. Let's see, right there. Uh, let me get something to point with right here where the heating element was you could solder on right there um, for the output from the thing the switch right here pretty simple um, you know you've got a soldered on piece of uh, copper right there there's another pad right there that it bumps into so there's your two points where you could connect up a switch if you want to take it out of this housing there's four screws um, actually it looks like there are three screws not sure what happened to that other one <laughs> maybe it was never in there but there's three screws and you can take out that whole circuit board if you wanted to take it out but I really don't see a reason to do that when you've got a nice little housing that already keeps it all closed up and you could even modify this cover I suppose and put a uh, small slider switch in there in the place of that switch just a screw take that out and there's a slot right there it looks like about the right size to stick a slider switch in drill a hole for the mounting screws on that so this is a pretty versatile little thing um, kind of neat like I say it's only 3.7 volts so uh, it could run some small microcontroller units uh, I've got one here that I picked up from uh, Pololu robotics that I'm going to use on a little mini robot that runs on three volts and the batteries uh, or the uh, the motors I've chosen are also um, like little three volt motors so this is going to go in that little mini robot pretty neat so I found the instructions by the way they were in the packaging it's just a little quick start guide and it tells you that that little light on the back right there is indeed a charge indicator light and when I plug it into this cable that is connected to my desktop computer on the workbench you can see the little blue light comes on which means it is charging so that's a pretty neat thing about this you mount this on your robot platform and when it's time to charge it um, you know you take off the little protective cover plug into a uh, a USB cable and charge them up um, I suppose you could make this removable and just plug it into a uh, any you know charger or port on a computer. You could buy a few of these and always have one battery charged ready to go. You could buy four or five of them and have lots of batteries ready to go. You could rig them up in uh, in series or parallel and get more amps and more volts and all kinds of things. These are really cool, really neat, hackable little device started out as a lighter turned it into a rechargeable battery pack awesome pretty neat little battery pack that used to be a lighter i love it like i said as soon as i saw this in walmart i said that thing is destined to be in some future projects so go get yourself some of these you can find them online too uh, ignitelighters.com 
Um, you could probably find them on Amazon or wherever, but I've seen them online selling for up to twelve or fifteen dollars, and I only paid like five ninety eight or you know six dollars, something like that at Walmart. Uh, maybe some of the drug stores like Walgreens, Rite Aid, um, CBC Pharmacy, they might have them too. I don't know. Look around and see if you can find them. Ignite lighters, also known as a rechargeable battery pack. Pretty cool stuff. That's a hack. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the donations. And until next time. Is it a lighter or a rechargeable thing?